Hey guys, this is Adrian from IndieAdjuster.org. Uh, just want to take a minute to show you guys a quick video, but before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you guys who have taken the time to comment on my post on LinkedIn. Also, uh, the email subscriptions are going great. Um, getting a lot of really good feedback about what we're sharing there on the web, and I just want to let everyone know that may be watching this how much I appreciate the, your support. Uh, how much I appreciate your comments, whether positive or negative. Uh, they really help me a lot uh, to kind of hone in on what it is that you guys are looking for, what kind of uh, assistance I can provide. So um, with that being said, I'm just going to roll right into it. What I have for you today is just a quick uh, Xactimate tip, and this one has to do with Sketch. You can see I've got Xactimate open here, and I'm already in a project. Um, so I'm going to click on the Sketch screen. And what we're going to do is, uh, you know, typically you can you can go in and uh, just start drawing a floor plan or just start drawing the roof out, and uh, that's great. But what I wanted to do is show you a trick to to kind of trace over a floor plan that you might have been given or you might have obtained from somewhere, um, and to do that to scale so you can quickly kind of rough in your floor plan. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is import an image here. So I'm going to go up um, on the menu bar and click on tools. From there I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose import and then import underlay image. So click on that and you see your file browser is going to come up. Um, here I've already got an image on my desktop. Uh, there are only a couple of image types that are accepted here. Unfortunately PDF is not one of them so you're going to want to make sure that this is a JPEG, or JPEG uh, bitmap or a, a GIF image. Um, all right, so I already have my JPEG here on the desktop. I've got it selected. I'm going to click open. And there it is. So what we're going to do is Xactimate asks us to set the scale. So we're going to click one end of a line with a known length. So in this case, I'm going to choose the great room because I can see that it's 20 by 15, 6. And uh, that long wall has got to be the 20 foot one. So I'm going to start at the corner, drag out to the other corner and click. And once I've got that set, I'm going to put in 20 feet, click OK, and then click OK again. All right, you can see here our image has been brought in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit so I can see more of it. And then I'm just going to start drawing. Uh, Shift W for your wall tool. And I'm going to start here in the great room since we know our dimensions there. Start with a 20 foot wall. You can see that scale worked perfectly. Drag up to the other corner here taking my time a little bit on this room because I want it to be right. All right, now you see that corner's not quite right in Xactimate. Once you click to activate that wall, you can click on the diamond in the corner and uh, it will automatically snap it to 90 degrees once you start dragging that out. So now you see our great room. I'm just going to adjust those dimensions a little bit. There's 20 feet and 15, I can't quite get the 6, so I'm going to type that in manually. Click on the dimension itself, type in 15 comma 6 as a quick way to do that, and there's our room. Just going to spend a second here to get that, get that centered exactly where I want it. All right. That looks pretty good. So, okay, let's get started. So Shift W again, that's my wall tool. I'm just going to quickly go here, trace around some of these other rooms. There's the master suite. Here's our walk-in closet. Again, that corner's not quite right, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. Okay, Shift W again. There we go. Grab the corner of the kitchen. Really handy on this bay window. Okay, like that. I'm going to go on out here to the corner of this other bedroom. And let's just let's just finish out the bedroom. Okay, we've got those corners set. Now let's go ahead and finish off that wall between the great room and the bedroom. Okay. Have to fix those corners a little bit there. Not a big deal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw this uh, coat closet. Shift W again for that wall tool. 
All right, we've got that. Now the wall for the bathroom. And then I'm just going to go ahead and separate my kitchen from the dining area. And now let's continue on. I'm going to go ahead and draw out the, the entire corner of the space here. Make sure that's aligned properly. Okay, I like that. Draw this wall here. And go all the way across right here just to finish defining that hallway. There's actually two closets here, one for the bedroom and one at the end of the hallway. Drag that wall out just a little bit. Okay, good, I like that. Let's finish off the bedroom. Okay, so now that that's kind of a quick uh, rough draft. You know, generally I'd, I'd take a little bit more time. Oops, I forgot the bathroom over here. Go ahead and throw that in there as well. Um, like I said, generally I take a little bit more time to make sure those dimensions are correct. But uh, once you've got it drawn in, you can actually um, click on the background itself and uh, let's fix this corner and delete it. And you're left with the sketch like you're used to seeing. Now, of course, here you'd want to go in and kind of uh, play with those dimensions a little bit. Make sure you like uh, everything is to your liking. You know, add in your doors, um, add in your staircase, and and the like. But there you have it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, and that's just a quick way that I found that I can take uh, maybe my scope notes on a complex roof, or um, maybe a floor plan that I've got on a very large building, and be able to quickly get that into Xactimate, and then fine tune the floor plan uh, as I go. Well, there you have it, folks. I really appreciate, uh, again, you checking things out over at our site. That's indieadjuster.org. Uh, if you haven't liked us on Facebook, um, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're also on Twitter, and we've, we've actually gained a pretty decent following over at LinkedIn as well. We're uh, active in some groups there. So uh, feel free to check us out. Um, and if you have any comments, questions, drop me an email, and, and I'll get back to you. Again, uh, this is Adrian for indieadjuster.org, and uh, thanks again.